in this video. We are going to see how to set the Danfoss FC360 VFD drive parameters for water pump on, off controlled automatically using a PLC controller. Welcome to Inside Control System YouTube channel. Overview Danfoss VLT Automation Drive FC360 is a general purpose drive for variable speed applications. Danfoss FC360 is support from 0.37 to 22 kilowatts drives can handle induction motors and permanent magnet synchronous motors. This parameter setting and wire connection are suitable only for automatic control of digital on, off and analog reference signals via PLC controller. Before commissioning the VFD drive, you have to note the motor nameplate details. Wire connection, connect three-phase incoming supply to L1, L2 and L3 supply terminals, connect three-phase outgoing supply to U, V and W terminals, take 24 volts from the inverter's 12th terminal and connect it to the PLC controller's digital output common port. Make a loop between the inverter's 12th and 27th terminals. Connect a PLC controller's digital output NO port to the inverter's 18th terminal. Connect the PLC controller's reference analog 0 to 10 volt DC signal to the inverter terminals 53 and 55. Inverter relay 1 is connected to a trip lamp that indicates when the inverter has a fault or an alarm. Inverter relay 2 is connected to the PLC controller's digital input port to indicate on. Off status. Parameter settings. Turn on the VFD drive, then press or enable the off reset button after entering the parameter settings. If you install a new VFD drive, there is no need to reset the program. However, if you are using an existing VFD drive, you must reset the old program. Turn on the VFD drive and navigate to parameter configuration 1422 when the default value is 0. You are able to modify the value 0 to 2, and the frequency converter will reset during the next power-up. Pressing the menu button twice in a row will take you to the setup function. Initially, the parameter value starts from 0. Note, during this parameter setting some parameter values are enabled in default. 0, 3 is regional settings, set as 0. 04 is operating state at power up, set to 1. 040 is hand on, key on LCP, set to 1. 042 is auto on, key on LCP, set to 1. 101 is motor control principle, set to 1. 120 is motor power, and are your motor kilowatt rating as per your motor nameplate. 122 is motor voltage, and are your motor rated voltage. 123 is motor frequency, and are your motor rated frequency. 124 is motor current, and are your motor maximum amps. 125 is motor nominal speed, and are your motor maximum RPM. 129 is automatic motor adaption, set to zero. 160 is low speed load compensation, set to 100. 161 is high speed load compensation, set to 100. 162 is slip compensation, set to 100 or 0. 172 is starred function, set to 2. 180 is function as stop, set to 0. 300 is reference range, set to 0. 302 is minimum reference, set the minimum reference. 303 is maximum reference, set the maximum reference. 315 is reference 1 source, set to 1. 316 as reference 2 source, set to 0. 317 as reference 3 source, set to 0. 318 is relative scaling reference resource, set to 0. 340 is ramp 1 type, set to 0. 341 is ramp 1 ramp up time, set the ramp up time to 30 seconds. 342 is ramp 1 ramp down time, Set the ramp down time to 30 seconds. 410 is motor speed direction. Set to 0. 412 is motor speed low limit. 
set the minimum frequency. 414 is motor speed high limit, set the maximum frequency. 458 is missing motor phase function, set to 1. 500 is digital input mode, set to 0. 510 is digital inputs, set to 8. 511 is terminal 19 digital input, set to 10. 512 is terminal 27 digital input, set to 2. 513 is terminal 29 digital input, set to 14. 515 is terminal 33 digital input, set to 16. 540 function relay. Relay 1 is set to 9. Relay 2 is set to 5. 557 is terminal 33 low reference or feedback value. Set the minimum value. 558 is terminal 33 higher reference or feedback value. Set the maximum value. 610 is terminal 53 low voltage. Set the minimum value to 0. 611 is terminal 53 high voltage. Set the maximum value to 10. 614 is terminal 53 low reference or feedback value. Set the minimum value. 615 is terminal 53 high reference or feedback value. Set the maximum value. 619 is terminal 53 mode. Set to 1. Finally, turn off and on the inverter, and then click the audio on button. The inverter will turn on automatically when the PLC controller relay is turned on. Next, the inverter frequency will be automatically adjusted using a PLC controller analog signal. Well, I hope this video is useful to you. Have a wonderful day, and thank you for watching.